Hello, I'm Art Salazar of uh, UP Los Baños College of Agriculture Institute of Plant Breeding and uh, my project is on corn. <laughs> uh, we want to be as a nation, we want to be an, econ an economic tiger, no? but a tiger has to be strong being a tiger and he has to eat. And that's where our concern is before we even think of becoming a uh, respected and third <laughs> nation, we have to have a good foundation in terms of food and nutrition security. Data would show that the incidence of diabetes in the Philippines is alarmingly high. It's higher than the world's average. And also, we are importing a lot of rice. We are one of the biggest, if not the biggest, rice importer in the world. And uh, it could not go on this way. Before we think of being really an economic tiger, as what I said, we have to address these issues. And our project on a simple thing, as corn, will help towards that. Because in terms of our rice importation, our rice importation is only 10% of annual rice requirement, no? So it's about 2 million tons. And uh, also, corn, incidentally, is a low glycemic index food, staple. And so if you eat more of corn than rice, then you'll have less chance of diabetes. And if you are already diabetic, then you could manage your blood sugar. So, uh, it's a simple thing, uh, as what I said, it's just corn, but I would say it's a miracle food and it's here. It need not be imported, it's uh, grown by our Filipino corn farmers. And the amount of foreign exchange that we'll be saving is about 25 billion pesos worth annually. If that amount of money will be circulating among our farmers, that's a lot of money to get by and it will, it will, it will be the springboard for economic takeoff. And so uh, our work is uh, uh, really investigating and finding out a best way how to promote the adoption of uh, corn in the Philippines. Uh, and uh, we're looking at the blending of rice and corn by, and we found out it's, it's best to consume it taste-wise, 70% rice and 30% corn. And so, if we will be, if all the Filipinos in general will be import, will be uh, uh, consuming 70-30, we will be exporting rice the next day because we only import 10%. And also, we will reduce the rate of diabetes. So, our advice to our compatriots in Visayas and Mindanao, go back to corn <laughs> because the consumption of corn in the south is decreasing and for our compatriots in Luzon increase the intake of, of, uh, of corn put more corn into your diet so that uh, we'll have less need for rice and that way then we could we could we could uh, we could move on no a person who is hungry and who is diabetic will find it hard to think will find it hard to create and so it is the foundation for the growth of our nation para sa isang malusog at busog na bayan mais